Hello everyone, this is UI once again. Um, today, uh, I'm going to show you um, how to install this uh, new declumper which we have uh, created uh, for the DF64 coffee grinder. Right, um, this is a lot more flexible as compared to the stock uh, silicon declumper because it's very thick and uh, you can just totally remove the original declumper and replace with this. Right, so what is this about? Um, this is actually a 3 printed uh, spacer right? with a PET film. Um, I think the thickness of the film is z less than 0.3 mm. So it is a very, very, very flexible kind of film. And of course, the cutout design I will bring you in to see closer later. So basically, this is a direct replacement to the decumber that's inside. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install this and uh, how the coffee grind uh, after the installation right so let's get to it first of all um, to give you more background about this uh, declumper right so bring you closer to get a better view okay, yeah um, okay let me try to zoom in the camera so you can see the design cutout is basically a triangular flap uh, this is where coffee will be touching and the spacer will be uh, uh, not at uh, will be uh, there will be minimal contact with the coffee ground with the spacer right the spacer is printed in PLA uh, wood fused filament and uh, the PD film is actually attached at the back and this PD film is um, is actually a very food safe material right because a lot of food packaging material uses this for food packaging such as your pet bottle for your soft drinks. Um, yep, so this is actually a very pretty much a food safe material. So right now I'm going to show you how to um, open up the grinder, unscrew a few uh, screws, and then um, show you how to install this. Most important, you must make sure that the plug is taken off so that the machine is not connected to any live current. This is really to protect your safety. After you have removed the bellow, right, you have to loosen your collar slightly. So uh, turn in the clockwise direction, right? Currently, my um, uh, sorry, turn it in the anti-clockwise direction to loosen it, not the clockwise direction. So turn anti-clockwise so that you can see that now the collar is higher than the uh, this piece here and then which means you are good to go and you don't have to remove the entire collar to remove this piece here. Right, so make sure you unscrew uh, in the causal direction so that it creates a little space here for you to uh, remove your centerpiece. So first of all, you have to remove the bellow. The top collar you can leave it there first, right? But if you have the base installed, you have to remove the base first because there's two screws underneath which you need to remove. So let me remove the base. And now uh, you have to invert this. And there will be two screws underneath. I'm going to bring you closer to see the screws. Right, there's one screw here. And one screw here. So you just need something like this. Which can be unscrewed very easily. Right, and the screw is out. Okay, let me get the other out. Right, you can see my my screwdriver is a magnetic one, so you can uh, it can be removed easily. Next, there's one screw which actually hold on to the 
portal filter holder so you have to remove that as well you'll be using the same screwdriver to unscrew it uh, do put the screws at a safe place so that you don't drop it okay put it aside and once you've done that you expose two more screws which can also can be removed using the screwdriver same screwdriver Make sure that you put this safely and currently there's quite a bit of coffee ground there uh, you can use a brush or you can just get a portable vacuum cleaner like this right and it's clean and of course right now you cannot pull out this piece because this piece is actually locked uh, there's a nut inside that locked it and this collar is also holding on to the center piece in place so first of all um, I'm going to remove the top let me show you there's one more things you have to unscrew which is the screw uh, which is actually the screw here this is actually not a screw this is actually a nut so you have to get a wrench to actually unscrew this unturn this to loosen it so let me get my wrench and I'm going to show you how to actually remove this. To unscrew these nuts, you need to, I think a 19mm wrench. So basically you just have to do this and you turn it gently. Okay, to really remove the nuts here, we need the 19mm uh, wrench. So we just have to, okay, let me try to do this with, okay, basically you have to adjust it so that it is in place, then you just have to turn it. Okay, let me try to get this. Okay, so it's loosened. So basically you can use your finger to turn it. And you can see the holding slide out. And you can just push the nuts all the way back. And then the start off button will be able to dislodge. And now you can see that your front, your front plate is out. And you can see that the front plate is still holding place by the collar. So the next one is I have to unscrew the collar so that this thing will pop out. So let me show you how to do that. And of course, after that, you can actually turn your grinder upside down. Okay, so next you have to remove the base. You can remove the two screws here on top, which I will show you very soon. And then after you have done that, uh, you can actually remove the this base and then remove the screws here which I already removed in the previous part and then you can actually take out this part here so currently my two screws on top has been removed and I'm just going to show you how I actually uh, take out this thing here so basically just take out the top this is actually the base now and then your bottom piece will be able to remove easily if you don't want this piece to get into your way you can actually turn it all the way to the 12 o'clock position and then push your button in so that you will lock temporarily lock this in place so that it doesn't get into your way and next we have to remove this thing here so you can see there's a bit of coffee ground so I'm just going to use a brush right to remove uh, all the coffee ground that's stuck there if you have a vacuum around you can also use a vacuum cleaner a portable one and I'm still using the same screwdriver to actually unscrew
currently my declamper is the slightly thinner silicon which I gotten from Daiso if you're in Singapore uh, Daiso sells the uh, mat right so you can see um, this is actually the one I had you can see that this is already open in the open position so this is, has been used quite a while and because I'm using a uh, silicon you can see that there's still quite a bit of coffee okay, maybe let me bring you closer to see the condition right you can see that there's still quite a bit of coffee that's stuck at the exit and you can see that the chute is clotted with a lot of coffee so right now I'm just going to use a vacuum cleaner to clean all this up then I can install the new declumper So let me use a brush to brush out everything. You can see how much coffee ground there are. this screw back so that it's easier for me to install the our decomper later right so now it's nice and clean you can see there's a lot of coffee ground here right we just vacuum that later now our exit chute and the exit hole is actually pretty clean and now we're going to install this remember the coffee ground is going to come out this way so this will be the way that you install it with the 3D printer part facing inside and the uh, PET side facing outside so that it's free to open and uh, because the, the screw holes is arranged in such a way that it's um, created to fit the two screw holes there so you can actually easily uh, screw them over Okay, right now you can see that the decomper is basically on and when the coffee comes out okay I think I probably have installed in the wrong way okay back my pardon I have to remove this and switch it around is supposed to be the other way I think this is good uh, because this is also my first time uh, trying to show on camera how it's being installed right so remember the shoot is this way and you want the coffee to blow out this way easily so this will be the way to install it Oh, actually I did I probably did the right way just now silly me right so basically just have to screw in the installation should be pretty easy right so it's already in so remember when the coffee comes out you blow through here and open up easily so there should not be a lot of restriction here so now let's install this back and the reason for us to install the spacer is because if you don't have the spacer there um, the screw will be screwing in too deep and it can actually um, obstruct the spinning of the burr and will cause the burr to jam right if you want to see how the burr actually got jammed up you can actually see uh, my other video which uh, 
one of my customers uh, machine actually got jammed and then uh, it is he thought that the motor has issue right but actually it's not the problem of the motor but rather it's actually the way that um, he actually removed the declumper entirely without the original silicon and that reduces the uh, thickness of the spacer by 2mm which means the screws is getting in deeper by 2mm and it actually comes out from the hole at the back so right now the installation is done so let's just remove uh, repeat the step just now to close back our machine so same thing let's just install back you can actually screw uh, reverse the procedure as what we have done just now make sure you remember which screw goes back to which holes so that you will not mix up the flat one goes to the side and the round one goes to the center which holds the polyfilter and of course we got to screw the uh, switch back right adjust the switch so that it is nicely aligned you can use your finger to try to tighten it first and then later on use your wrench to actually further uh, tighten it so that it doesn't move around you don't have to over tighten this because um, generally it is a pretty uh, even if you screen with your finger right it is tight enough and it doesn't really move around much because this is basically a button for start and stop right, so pretty much that's done and then we can actually close back right there is actually a, um, a marker here for you to place your base align to the to the body right so you will not miss it so pretty much that's it and then we can actually screw back the base make sure the base is nice and secure don't have to over tighten it okay it's done so right now let me vacuum this mess up and then I'm going to show you how the coffee grinds Right, so let me turn the grinder upside down before that. Okay, let's install the polar filter holder back. Okay, so it's nice and nicely done. Now we can turn this over. I will not install the base first. Right, so this is uh, the same as your setting. Let me zero my grinder first. So let me plug in my grinder. Install the bellow. Turn it slowly. Right now, I'm actually finding the zero point. Okay, there it goes. Okay, the grinder auto off after about 45 seconds. Okay, so now it's a fine, uh, it's uh, good for us to do a test to see how the coffee grinds. So I'm just going to do a 15, uh, at a grind setting of 15. 
and I'm going to dose about 15 grams of coffee. Okay, let's just dose an 18 gram and see how it grinds. grams I'm gonna grind uh, first this is 18.1 gram so let me show you in the camera right that's 18.1 so right now I'm gonna just grind uh, I'm gonna grind two times because the first time I probably clean uh, disturb the grinder so you may not actually get all the coffee grounds out so let's put it into the Bellow, close it up. Right, so this is actually the tube base. I uh, sorry, the um, the polyfilter adapter. So now I will grind. Okay, I will not bellow first. Let's see how much coffee has come out. Seventeen point six gram. So without bellowing, it actually retained about zero point five gram. So now let's bellow it and see how much coffee will come out. So it's 18.2 so there's probably some retention in the previous grind so right now oh 18.1 so it's actually uh, almost zero uh, 0 0.1 gram of retention at the most so you can see this is the after installation of the uh, new declumper so right now i'm going to grind another 18 grams and show you whether this is consistent That's exactly 18 grams. So let me show you. Right, as you can see, this is exactly 18 grams. So let's pop out the cover, empty the coffee inside, close back the cover, and let's grind. Same thing, let's try to measure before bellowing. That's about 17.3. So that's about 7, 0 0.7 grams of retention without bellowing. So now let's try to bellow. Switch on the grinder. Seventeen point nine, so you can see uh, it has about zero point one grams of retention, and that's probably the best I can get from this grinder. So yeah, of course I can continue to bellow. Probably I'll reach about eighteen grams, but I think it's probably uh, close enough. Okay, let me try. Yep, so if I bellow a few more times, you can actually get me 18 grams exactly. So consistently for two coffee grind, 
uh, it actually gives me a consistently about um, close to zero retention or if not 0 0.1 grams of retention all right so this is you once again thank you for joining uh, my video today um, of course my video is all about having fun making coffee right um, this may not be fun to install uh, for me it's actually fun because i like to tinker and diy so it's actually kind of fun for me to try to actually perfect this grinder right um i'm not saying that the original declumper is no good right it will be good and um i think after usage the silicon actually gets softened and uh, it will become better eventually um but i think i have customers having a complete choke of the grinder after usage for uh, let's say one or two months and um you have to clear the uh, uh the grind that's actually trapped behind the decumper uh, but with this new setup, right, it will actually eliminate the fact that uh, uh, the coffee ground will not get stuck uh, behind and your internal chamber will most likely be quite clean. Uh, let me know what you think about this uh, decumper, right? Uh, of course, I will link it down in my comment section down below or my description down below. Uh, if you're interested to get one, right, I will link uh, to my shop so that you can actually get one for yourself, right? Um, I would say that this is a good upgrade, right? So um, you can decide whether you want this upgrade or not. So um, this is CY. Thank you for joining me, right? If you have not subscribed to my channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and like my videos. And of course, ring the bell if you want to stay updated with all my future uh, content release, right? So thank you once again. Uh, see you very soon and stay safe.